So I'm a sucker for big bells, as I'm sure everybody else is, but sometimes those big bells are a little bit too much to handle. So today we're going to be making mystery bells, which are they're a little bit softer bells, um, a little bit easier to grasp and hold on to. Uh, they sound like this. Okay, so this one, it's very simple to make. So we're using just the harmonic engine and the effects. We're using a compressor, a couple delays, and some reverb. So a very simple patch and really quite a few knobs to turn. So let's go ahead and start this off here. And just in as a recap, harmonic engine, we're going to be only using this one. Okay, so let's go to a new preset. And we're here by default in Wavetable. So let's go to Harmonic. And for Spectrum A, let's click this here. And there's a lot of ones to pick from. And for that patch, I use Notch. And then the parity is going all the way to the left. So the odd. And then the depth here is about 100%. You can go a little bit more, but I kind of just want 100% here. And you kind of have that. So with this patch, the volume is going to be quite low when you first do this here. So that's why I kind of went here, changed this to a, uh, we're already here. Where's our compressor? Give it a little bit of out here and maybe a tad bit of compression, not too much. You just want to tickle those bells, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so no bell in the history of mankind will sustain like that. So let's bring our sustain down and then maybe our decay up a little bit and our release to match that. Now we can maybe bring this up a little bit more. Now the cool part about making this type of bell as opposed to maybe something in FM or something maybe with a triangle wave kind of moving stuff around is that this one is generally softer. So if you've ever made some big bells before, <laughs> you'll notice that sometimes the higher frequencies can kind of hurt the ears. Then you have to get an EQ, maybe notch that out or maybe dynamic EQ because the other parts, the lower spectrum sounds better. But once you get to the higher stuff, it sounds a little bit harsh. You might have had to do that. Now, with this technique or this way to make it in pigments, it's much softer. It's kind of more pleasant, especially the higher stuff. It still has the... It still has those that harmonic content, but it's not too ear-piercing as, like I was saying, some FM bells are. So we have this. Now, definitely play it in the higher registers. Because that's where it sounds correct. Down here, it sounds kind of weird but definitely stay up here. Okay, so we have that. And then next, I like to use a lot of delay for these types of patches. So instead of this reverb here, let's go to delay. And this first and a quarter note, that's fine. Let's play a little bit here, see how that sounds. Okay, that's kind of nice there. I'm not going to probably mess with this too much, but I want to add another delay here. And instead of going straight only, we're going to go into uh, dotted and this is going to be an eighth dotted. So something like that here. So we kind of have that like done, 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 kind of a, a little bit of rhythm to these, uh, to these notes here. You know, maybe we can bring down the low passes just a little bit here to differentiate what we're playing directly and then the delays. And maybe a little bit of the highs, something like that. I don't know. That might be kind of fine. Okay, beautiful. So now we want to add a little bit of reverb here. So something like this. And let's make our size a little bit bigger for these balls. Bells, Jesus Christ. I said it. I was trying not to, and I did it. I'm not editing that out. It's fine. Okay, so we have a reverb. That's cool. Pre-delay 20 milliseconds is probably fine. I wouldn't really worry about that too much. The low pass frequency, maybe turn this down a little bit, kind of like we did with the delays. The high pass 200, that's totally fine. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind too is the relationship of the decay and the release. So if I hit a quick note, 
That sounds kind of cool. And then if we hold it down, it's slightly a little bit different. It's close. So this is 763. This is 983. So keep in mind, because sometimes when we're playing these types of patches, we can maybe hold down a note and then sometimes we can hit it really quick. So we don't really want those to change too much. So generally, if you want to keep the decay and the release generally in the same ballpark, so 849, that's uh, pretty close. So if I hold down a note or just tap it really quick, it'll still sound the same. So if we didn't, so let's say this decay is really short like this, and let's hit a note real quick. It's going to sound weird. I've held it down. So just kind of make sure that kind of rings out nicely. <laughs> I always have to play that one. It's kind of a it's kind of a melody to check if your bells are nice. Yeah. Okay. So we have that done here. Now we could add some more stuff to this, but we probably don't really need to. For the macros, I mean, we could do stuff with the filter, but again, this is kind of a simple patch. It's really a couple knobs here in the harmonic engine and change our envelopes to match because nine times out of 10, we don't need to use every engine, every knob, every setting, all these effects to make a patch sound good. Sometimes some of the coolest patches and in interesting ones are really the most simplistic. So it's not necessarily like a patch is simple, therefore bad, a patch is using so many things, therefore good. It can be either way. Nine times out of 10 for me, I've noticed is I try to make a patch with the most targeted things I can, but not go overboard. If I don't need something, I'm not gonna use it. Just kind of, you know what I mean? Hopefully that makes somewhat sense here. Yeah, the whole uh, Silent Hill, I think. Anyway, that's that cool bell patch. Enjoy it. Make some mystery bells yourself. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Balls.